Inside Michigan football, and as we are every week, we're joined now by head coach Jim Harbaugh. Coach, thanks for joining me, and uh, how was your bye week? Uh, it was uh, it was really good. We got to uh, go to San Francisco. Uh, the organization invited back the 2012 team and, yeah. and honored the uh, the team and a bunch of the guys came back. It was just uh, it was super happy uh, to see the team get honored and you know, they don't they don't bring back teams if you got to be pretty good you yeah. know and uh, just being with the guys. I mean the these days are long and the years are short and, but I mean so many good memories. Uh, Hard to believe it's the, 10 years. Yeah, it is. It is. But, uh, you know, they were they super interested in our team, uh, which was cool. I mean, they all knew uh, Blake Corum, and uh, they, watch a, they watch a lot of the games talking to me about Mozzie and, and, uh, and Mike Moe and, and uh, some of the guys. It was great. I mean, how much they, how yeah. much they you know, they said they follow us and, and things like that. And a couple of the guys even were wearing their blue-collar shirts. <laughs> Which you know that, yeah. was, that was big. That was that, that was. <laughs> they saved them ten years. Eh? That was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, any lot of stories fun. that you heard um, that you're glad you didn't know was uh, when you were a coach? Uh, any off the field stories from uh, guys like Justin or any of the other guys that were out there? Uh, no, not really. I mean, there's. Uh, I mean, some what characters a, on that team? There were, there were. We had, we had a lot of fun, and uh, I mean, like worked so hard. The guys just uh, worked hard, but they had a lot. We all had a lot of fun doing it. I just, you know, not a guy on there that you, you know, didn't didn't respect and appreciate and, and love. Uh, I mean, to a guy. I mean, they were all just just a bunch of great guys, and uh, yeah, it was a really really happy experience. And yeah, Justin Justin was Justin was, you know. Uh, a guy that was, I mean, he had all the influence, you know, like, hey, you need, you need to get stronger. You need to, hey, yeah, you, all you guys get out of the training room. Yeah. You know, get here. You know, he was, he was one of the strongest players I ever played against. He I, was just, he was uh, just built different. He is, I mean, they called him, nicknamed the cowboy. Uh, to me, I mean, the most underrated player maybe that's ever played in the NFL because he, he was, uh, he was, he was just great. I mean, so strong, as you yep. said. I mean, there was, uh, I mean, there was, there was guys that we just couldn't, especially the new tackles. I mean, you had to like, you're gonna need some seasoning here. <laughs> you can't go against Justin because Justin, right. I mean, he dump you like, uh, I mean, yeah, well, dump you on NFL. your back, yeah, you know. And uh, man, we don't want the quarterback getting hurt, you know, <laughs> falling at his legs or something. Uh, but he was a great teammate. And uh, yeah, truth be told, I mean, the, the leadership and the culture, I mean, so much of it was uh, Justin Smith. How much do you share of those experiences with your team now? Like you just mentioned, hey, they don't ask average teams to get back together. And, hey, in 2032, how 2032, could it be? Yeah. 2032, let's, we could Let's be, bring the gang back together. That's, let's do it. I mean, I, I, I bet 20, 2031 uh, we're going to have a – yeah. Pretty darn good uh, ten-year reunion, and let's make it 2032 as well. So, looking back over the bye week, I know a lot of young guys get more reps in the bye week. How did uh, how did they look? And is anybody standing out to you about the about the young group of players that uh, we haven't seen much on the field since those first three games? But you got a chance to see more of them last week. Yeah, I mean, there's so many guys that are just coming along, uh, you know, so good, and it. Uh, Maybe they got a couple veteran players that are playing ahead of them right now at their position, but uh, you can tell that they're going to be they're going to be really good um, in the future. But hey, might as well get them ready before they need to be ready because because it could be a next man up situation, you know, going down the stretch here. But I thought it was really productive um, week all the way around. Ronnie Bell said it early in the week. Uh, stood up in front of the team. Would just be where your feet are. Uh, whether that's in meetings, whether that's in practice, whether that's in the weight room. Uh, and there's a great vibe. Uh, I think the guys are, you know, that resonates with, with all of us. And uh, really good week under our belt. And now, now that's really intensified, you know, coming into this week. Because you just, you just sense it and know it. I mean, it's a big game. Mm -hmm. uh, and everybody, everybody is, is, knows it everybody wants to win you know i mean coaches on both sides players on both sides i mean it's uh, it's the kind of thing that uh 
you know can make or break your season. So uh, you know you you want to win this game, and you know, there's a there's a real bounce in our step, and guys uh, attacking everything they're doing so far. Last year's story obviously had one blemish on it, and that was the the trip to East Lansing. How much does that motivate you guys? Do you do you bring that game up at all about what happened in East Lansing this this year, and yeah. say, hey, we don't want that to happen again? Oh yeah, I mean, uh, we watch it. I mean, nobody's watched the the highlights of you know that game or or the you know the film of that game more than we have. I mean, we watch it. Um, and, uh, and 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 also this year's this year's tape, et cetera. But you um, you really want to just know them. You want to master uh, you know what they're doing, um, so you can use it against them. Uh, and that's and I'm sure they're doing the same thing. Yeah. Up the road, uh, no question about it. But uh, it's going to be it's going to be a physical game. It's going to be uh, you know situational football. It's going to you know playing big. Um, not making penalties, you know. I mean, everybody talks about how ramped up it's going to be, and uh, but you know, coaching that too, because you know anything can uh, can swing a game like this. So, in every aspect, you know, getting uh, getting uh, as prepared as possible. And you might even say, like, well, that's what you should be doing every week, and that's what we do. We do that every every single week. I mean, win the next game. That's that's our approach. But uh, and if if things have, you know tailed off you know in any regard that way i mean it just shoots right back up to you know 10 out of 10 uh, everybody uh, all hands on deck for this one well and you could tell that it's it's coached every week because last you talk about the emotion last week or uh, sorry the week before the bye week we played penn state they start off joy porter jr uh picks up cornelius johnson slams him to the ground gets an un- unsportsmanlike you know penalty but there's no you know, there's no retribution from Cornelius or from your team. Obviously, they all go to defend him. Yeah. Um, how much do you talk about moments like that, especially in games where, hey, you've got, you know, guys that are playing for, for your team. They've got high school teammates on the other side. They've got guys that they've played against for five, six years, and there's a lot of emotions. How much do you talk about those moments and how big they could be in this game? That's a huge situation. That's a – is, is a – important as any other situation that you can possibly think of that uh, it's a fact the second guy the guy who retaliates gets called gets the gets the penalty and you know you just keep showing the clips over and over and over again and and talking about it and you know as as much discipline as that takes not to you know not to react with you know somebody's throwing the punch or you know giving you the the late push or you know said something to you or whatever i mean it's uh uh that's as that to me is is uh as situational as situational football gets how much when it in regards to that how much do you lean on your upperclassmen juniors and seniors to prepare and talk to the underclassmen about the emotions of this game and what not just what it means but there's going to be highs there's going to be lows and how to handle both of those in a game like this yeah we uh we uh they're doing that within the position groups but we always have a player that comes up every every day after practice for some wise words and uh you know, it, uh, invariably, that's one of the messages that comes up. Um, how, when you talk about the wise words, I, I know that that's, that's a team thing, right? Yeah. Those words that are said are team things. But who has, has really stood out in moments like that as, wow, that was, that was real insightful? Who are some of the guys that you look back and you think that they, it kind of stands out to you of, of what they said to the team? Oh, that's a, that's a, that's a great question. I mean, we, uh, when it's really good, I mean, the, the guys will – They'll say top five, top five. <laughs> uh, so I'll get that list to you. But it's, I mean, you know, everybody, everybody, uh, everybody has a great message, you know, and everybody's, mm-hmm. everybody's got a, a perspective. Uh, everybody's got a story. All uh, I, I love it when the, when the guys come up because they think about it and they, uh, you know, they get something good prepared, you know, something, something positive for the team that they can uh, share with the guys. But you know, there's, uh, it's always good. It's always really good. Well, I want to dig a little deeper into this game when we come back, and we'll be back in just a moment with more from uh, Coach Harbaugh. Tonight's show is brought to you by Meyer, presenting sponsor of the 2022 Michigan football season and proud supporter of hundreds of local sports teams across the Midwest. You're listening to Inside Michigan Football from Learfield.
Welcome back to Inside Michigan Football, joined again by head coach Jim Harbaugh. And, and coach, when you look at this Michigan State team, this, this version of it, what do you see? Uh, I see a good football team, uh, probably the best receiving core that we've we faced. Uh, and a team that's uh, got, uh, I mean, they're, they're healthy. They've got guys playing in the right positions. They've moved some guys around. Uh, and I think, um, you know, uh, pose a lot of problems. <clears throat> Special teams, this is a fantastic, I mean, returner. Uh, defense can get the ball out. Um, physical football team, and, you know, they're going to be, they're going to be like our guys, you know. They're going to be, you know, uh, ready to play. They're going to play all out, play their hearts out, and it's going to be, uh, you know, classic two opposing wills going at each other. When you see uh, Peyton Thorne, their quarterback, um, and, and he, you know, takes the field, what is, what is it that makes him a threat to your defense? He's an accurate thrower, uh, really good stature in the pocket, but then we, slippery, um, you know, getting out of the pocket. He can run. Uh, throws well on the run, uh, you know, played, has a lot of experience and, um, you know, played, uh, played really well against us. So, uh, you know, expect uh, him to be, him to be confident and we're going to, we're going to have to play good. It just comes down to that. I mean, uh, whether it's uh, defending them or we're on offense or we're on special teams, we're going to have to play good. We're going to have to play our best. And, um, you know, that's uh, what you have. I know I say that every week, but right. uh, it's 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 so true that you got to play good. Yeah, uh, you got to give yourself an advantage. Uh, and one of their best players, Jaden Reed, as you mentioned, is healthy. Uh, is one of those guys that's getting healthy. Um, as a receiver, what sets him apart from some other receivers? Fast, plucks the ball out of the air. Uh, you know, as good as anybody uh, at the 50-50 balls. I mean, he go up and get it. Uh, Tracks it extremely well. Uh, good runner with the ball after catch, um, and you know, very. Uh, he doesn't. He doesn't go down easy either. I mean, he's not looking to get out of bounds or down. I mean, he's always, always making a cut, always keeping it alive. Um, so, got to got to cover him. Um, one of the stats that always comes up in this game is the team that, that wins the rushing battle generally wins the game. With the game being a little bit different, I know obviously for Michigan, it's you guys still run the ball a tremendous amount and with, with great efficiency. Um, it, do you think that stat still holds true for this game, that that's one of the keys to this game is being able to win on the ground and to be able to stop their run? Yeah, I mean, that's a big one all the time, right? Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I just think, uh, I think that'll be a, a big factor, uh, you know, in this game. It's, it's, it's proven to be holding on to the ball, too, not turning the ball over, yeah. uh, you know, being good on third down, being good in the red zone, uh, being good in short yardage. I mean, uh, all those, uh, how, how efficient the quarterback is and, um, you know, those are – usually the biggest ones they've got you face teams where they use two three different backs they've got three different running backs that they've been you know plugging in there um it, is it difficult to prepare for three different styles uh of running backs uh, because they got Ber uh, Berger, broussard and collins elijah collins who's been there for a while uh, and they all seem to kind of have a little bit of a different style what type of challenge is that to prepare for for running backs with a different style yeah there's a there's a you know, there's kind of a fastball curve, kind of uh, kind of situation uh, when you when you have really good backs that you're going against because nobody really has the same two guys have the same running style, um, and that's something they had success in doing last year, and and uh, you know something that we we want to defend much better this year yeah they've they've changed as you mentioned some of their different styles of the way they're running their defense there's also much healthier defensively um who sticks out to you on on their defense oh they're uh they're front i mean they got uh um i mean they got guys that are i mean strong they got the strong guy they got the uh the really good pass rush guy they got uh, uh number four has a, a Incredible knack of getting the ball out and punching the ball and uh, and, and creating turnovers. Um, and he he's been moved around a little bit, and you can tell uh, you know maybe he's at his best position now. So there's um, 
experienced. I mean, this is, a, I mean, seniors, fifth year seniors, six year seniors, uh, you know, very, uh, and uh, very good group, very, and as you said, healthy group now and, you know, create a, create a big challenge. Um, last year, uh, J.J. McCarthy got some experience in this game. How valuable was it to be able to play in this game, get that experience, and how much will that pay off for him that it's not his first time going out there in a rivalry game in a big moment like this? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think, uh, I think that's every game he plays, every 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 uh, time on task that he's he's playing, he's learning. Uh, but And he doesn't repeat mistakes. Uh and he doesn't linger on him either. Uh, so uh, I think it's good. He's got some. Uh, he's got some good experience under his belt, and uh, you know JJ's always. Uh, you, don't have to, you don't have to worry about JJ uh, being ready to play. He's he's uh, got a got a bounce in his step, but he does every day. I mean, that's that's why I, I wish I could tell you it's different this week, but it's not with him. You know, yeah. it's like I mean, he's you could be having a walkthrough, and uh, you know he's. Like a kid in the candy store with the bounce in his step and you know chomping at the bit to play. When obviously when you come to Michigan, some of the games that that you want to play, and obviously the Ohio State game, the Michigan State game, when you get a chance to play Notre Dame, Iowa, Wisconsin, like there's some great games that you get a chance to play in. This is one of those. And I was talking to Junior Colson earlier, and he just loves the big game. And when you mm -hmm. start talking about these. How is there is there anything that you've got to do differently to either calm these guys down throughout the week so that they don't play the game too early, um, or to get them ramped up for a night game that is, as you know, to this point of the season, next game biggest game that they're going to play in. How do you prepare them in regards to the emotional roller coaster that this week is? Well, I, th I think one of the things that really helps the players is. Uh, when they know how much the team's counting on them, you know, their, uh, their family, their, their brothers in the locker room, uh, and they can tell how much each of the guys on the team want it. Uh, and that, that is the one thing that I've, I've found that really can elevate a player's play uh, when they know the team's relying on them, dependent on them. And, uh, you know, and they, and they rise to that, uh, they rise to that level. They rise to the moment. And, uh, you know, Junior Colson certainly. I mean, he knows. He knows. Uh, he feels it that uh, you know the rest of the guys on the team are. Hey, we got to win this one, and we're yeah. counting on you to do it. You know, help us do it. So, uh, and he's the kind of guy that he's not afraid of that kind of big stage. So, uh, he's one of the type of guys that yeah, their their play gets elevated in these type of games. How about when they look at you uh, and the the big game or uh, the how much do you enjoy moments like this oh that's that's uh, uh it's the best part you know it's the when when competition is the best part this is this is the best part these these uh rivalry games that's why you do it right yes sir well i coach i appreciate your time uh best of luck on uh, on saturday and uh, we're excited to see your team take the field thanks john